Okay, this video uh, is just going to explain a few of the sort of details of DNA replication. So, we know from the Messelson and Stahl experiment that the, the, how DNA replication happens is semi-conservatively, that means the molecule breaks into two strands by breaking through the hydrogen bonds and then new complementary nucleotides are attached by their complementary base pairings to each of the template strands. But obviously that's not the whole story, perish the thought. So, uh, DNA replication is enzyme controlled and you need to know about three of the enzymes. So, our first enzyme is the one that works kind of here. I'm going to draw it as a triangle. And this enzyme is called DNA helicase. It's the one that unzips your genes. I won't tell the real joke. So DNA helicase, its job is to unwind and unzip DNA. How it does that is it breaks the hydrogen bonds. So these are our unbroken hydrogen bonds intact molecule and this is where the hydrogen bonds are breaking. And that kind of looks, this bit looks like a, a fork in the road. And so we call this bit here the replication fork. Now if you watch the Amoeba Sisters, who I think do this in a very excellent and animated way, um, you all know that there are little proteins that manage to keep that those two strands apart while stuff is going on and that there are primers as well. I'm just going to put some bases in randomly. So I'll have uh, A, C, G and T and A there. And remember that we've got these three prime and five prime ends. So what happens at this end of the molecule is that we bring in new nucleotides with the complementary base, so this one will be T, and we bring in the next one and it will have the complementary base uh, G on it. And then we need to join them together. So we have another enzyme, I'll do this little red circle. Um, and our red circle one is DNA polymerase. Now what that does is it joins uh, nucleotides together. So it actually forms the sugar phosphate backbone. And it does that, it adds them on one at a time. Oh, we can't spell backbone. There we go, backbone. So it joins those two together and then it'll work its way up and join these two together and it will just follow DNA helicase up. Now, the reason it can do that is because DNA replication, obviously this, we now are onto parallel, so this is going to be identical to this side, uh, is the five prime end. And DNA replication always takes place in the five prime to three prime direction. So this strand here is called the leading strand. It 
it's just going to follow DNA helicase up and it's going to be replicating in that direction. Now we do have a bit of a problem on the other side because we could certainly have, we would have our bases, our original bases there, not a problem. Um, we've exposed them so we could do complementary base pairing. Notice how this is going to be complementary to that. But the issue is if you can only add, so this only works in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, it'll only work going that way. So effectively, it's got to kind of wait until a section of DNA has been opened out before it can start working its way backwards. So this one, the DNA polymerase will have attached and it will have attached on then our C base to our A base and it will have attached those two together and to the ones that way but it hasn't done anything with these three yet so it will attach the A to the T here and then it will work its way down to the next one and add on a G there But then this has already been attached, so it now that we need to now seal these two little fragments together. And these fragments go by the uh, lovely name, I love this name, uh, these are called Okazaki fragments. And this is called the lagging strand because it's slower. This is the lagging strand. Uh, the Okazaki fragments then need another enzyme. Uh, what colours have I got? Blue. Another enzyme to kind of seal up the breaks. I'll draw this one as a square. And that enzyme is called DNA ligase. Uh, it's what the amoeba sisters describe as the glue. So it joins again the sugar phosphate backbone. join the Okazaki fragments. So that you get a, a continuous strand and then we'll end up with two identical um, DNA molecules with their ba base pairs. So you do need to know that what we're doing is we're running from the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, that's the only direction that DNA polymerase um, does. You need to know that DNA helicase and winds and unzips. You need to know that DNA polymerase joins individual nucleotides together by linking the sugar phosphate backbone. You need to know you've got a leading and lagging strand um, and you need to know that DNA ligase seals up the fragments on the lagging strand. Um, I don't know that you need to know Okazaki, but it's such a fantastic name and apparently a Leicester City player. I was quite excited when I saw Leicester City playing and I saw Okazaki written on the back of a shirt. Dead exciting for a biologist. We live dangerously. <laughs>